Hello there. In this video, we will be painting again. And what is it that we'll be painting? So recently, I've been actually reading a lot again, and so I was thinking some of these book covers look awful, some of them look cool, some of them look somewhat boring. Either way, I think we could optimize them and have some fun with um, customizing them, adding a little bit of my own touch to them. So yeah, stick around till after the intro to see how that goes. <laughs> Hey what's up people, this is Dr. Aids. my name is Joshua Dow and I'm an artist and I know it's been some time since I posted once again um, but I have off now, I hope I will be posting more but also other plans are in the works so I really don't know but we're getting close to a thousand subscribers which is just mind blowing and yeah rest assured that I will be making something for that. Anyway, so the matter at hand, we are painting on book covers. Um, this is not completely do-overs of book covers and let me know if you want me to do that as well because I think that would be interesting as well just just painting over the complete cover and making a whole new thing. No, this is just additions to it. Like my plan is to basically just paint um, the characters like my drawings of the main characters on top onto the cover and um, Yeah, so we have a couple of books that we can choose from but before we get into all of that look at this workspace It's an absolute mess. We'll have to change something. All right, now that's a little bit better. Now what we're going to do is take a look at which books we're going to paint on. So we have an array of options. So these are our options. Some of these you might know, some of these, these you might not. Some of these covers are all right, some of these are, well, not so all right. What I'm going to do is take pictures of these, upload them into Procreate and sketch around a little bit, see which options I like best, and then we can get into the painting. All right, let's go. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. And so that is exactly what I did. I think I had around 10 books uh, to choose from that I take, took pictures of, um, but I decided to only really go into four of them and uh, do sketches with four of them, um, just because that's what came easiest to me. That's where I saw the most um, potential for just uh, small, quick additions of characters. And out of these four book covers that I did sketches on, I ended up actually painting three of them, which I think is quite like a lot. It's, it's quite a good outcome for it. When all of the designing and procreate was finally done, it was time to transfer the sketches onto the books. And uh, I tried doing this by uh, basically transferring it from the iPad onto a piece of paper, then doing the same method that I've used before and um, basically covering the backside in graphite with the uh, pencil and then um, drawing with a hard pen. Um, I used a ballpoint pen or a fountain pen or something like that to transfer it and, and basically push through the lead. However, as you can see here, that did not work well on the book covers. It usually works well on a, a smooth and light surface, but it didn't work well uh, like that. So instead I cut out um, the character and basically drew around it, drew the outline with my white Posca marker. So basically paint marker. Then I decided to fill out the whole silhouette in white at first. I did a couple of uh, layers of that and then I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to just do a drawing. So basically a black pen uh, drawing on top of that or if I wanted to paint the whole thing. So instead of deciding that for myself, I put the question onto Instagram and moved on to the next painting. I just basically went through the exact same steps um, and while that dried again, I went back to the first book. This book, by the way, is Artemis. Um, it's a book by Andy Weir, who's the author of The Martian also, and it's a really great book. It's I don't really remember that much of it, but um, it basically takes place on the moon and uh, it deals a lot with having like a frontier um, city on the moon. So do laws from the earth still apply to the moon and stuff like that? And then it deals with like uh, the class structure, like where do poor people live? Where do rich people live? Because obviously it would be very uh, expensive to live on the moon, but they also need um, engineers and people who do like the 
the low class jobs basically um so it deals a lot with that i don't actually remember the exact storyline i just i just remember this world that was um built very well and and the author is um someone who is very much passionate about this whole topic of space travel and engineering and stuff like that so he made it very realistic even the last part of the book is just him explaining why he uh claims certain things and stuff so it's all very scientifically correct or accurate or as accurate as it can be for something that is not existent at this point. I'm painting the main character here, her name is Jazz or Jasmine, and she's uh, a smuggler, engineer, um, so someone from the lower class, and then I think she gets involved in a murder. Uh, I think she gets framed as well. I really don't remember that much, but it's a really, really good book. I can only recommend it. And I think this was a quite cool addition to the book cover, which was good enough, I'd say, but uh, maybe a little bit boring. Yeah, about the painting itself, I think I overdid it a little bit. I really liked the uh, silhouette in the beginning. I think a, a good silhouette is always a good start for good character design, and I, I really like this one, especially for uh, someone who isn't very good at drawing female characters. Uh, I, I really liked it. I think I overdid it a little bit in the detail, and especially because I couldn't get that much detail in with the brushes that I had. Um, I think they were just a little too big for the small canvas. So as you will see, I will go on to paint the, uh, the the skin as well, the shirt and stuff. And I actually always like the best when I just put in the most basic stuff uh, and then I add too much detail and it just looks kind of mushy and you can't really see uh, what's actually going on. So once again, I asked uh, you guys on Instagram whether I should add line art to get a little bit more detail and to clarify the image a little bit. And yeah, you guys came through. Um, it was quite clear that I should add line art, so that's exactly what I did. I used my fountain pen for the black line art, and then I also used um, a white Posca marker for uh, highlights. While I think it made it more clear and it made the drawing in this case better, I would have preferred if I'd uh, done a better job at just painting and wouldn't have needed this because it just gave the, the whole char character a little bit more of a comic booky vibe, which was not what I was going for, but in the end, it turned out all right as well. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. So let's move on to the next painting. This is the first Game of Thrones book. It's the German edition, um, if you're wondering. Um, that's why it looks like that. That's why the writing on it is in German, obviously. And I think these books look quite cool anyway, They but they look very stereotypically uh, like basically any other fantasy book. If you don't know Game of Thrones, what are you doing with your life? The TV show is in my opinion, very con controversial. I like the first couple of seasons after that. I mean, if you know me, you know that. I'm a person who always prefers the books and uh, they start going very far off of what happens in the books, but the books are so good. So I definitely recommend if you've watched the TV show, if you like the TV show, if you haven't watched the TV show, definitely go read the books. They're so good. The world building is just immaculate. And yeah, I'm painting Ned Stark here because in the other books, it's quite easy to tell who's the main character. Here, it's not really, there's so many characters, the, the stories are so uh, complicated that um, I just decided to go with him. However, my brother thought this was Jon Snow, so I guess it doesn't really matter who it is. It's a typical fantasy character with a big sword. I think it works for the story. I do like the way this painting turned out. I thought, I think I got more uh, detail in, or at least the detail that I did get in um, was enough to convey this kind of like grip, gritty, dark fantasy vibe. And I think that worked better than the first painting I did. So with that, we get to the last book cover that I customized. And I once again went through the same stages as before and uh, co copied my sketch onto the actual cover. This is uh, the actual book cover of like when you take off the big flappy thing of the ballad of songbirds and snakes um which is the prequel to the hunger games and i quite enjoyed this book i tried to mimic the style that this cover was done in and i think that actually worked really well with the fountain pen and trying to copy that old style um with the cross hatching and everything i think that worked quite well i wasn't too happy with the main character in the front because i painted a couple of layers of yellow underneath him just to make him kind of come out of that box if you can see his arm breaks out of the box 
box that is already on the book because that is acrylic and the actual material of the book is canvas. Um, it made the fountain pen when I used it on the acrylic um, like spread out more and made it thicker and it uh, kind of took away a little bit of the detail that I could have gotten in and that I got in with the background that was not painted on that actual layer of um, acrylic if you understand what I mean. But anyway that's a minor complaint. I'm still happy with how it turned out and I hope you are too. Always so much cat hair on my wonderful sweatshirt, by the way. If you're asking, this is uh, the Radiava sweatshirt that I designed with the wonderful guys at Radiava. And I know they're great. Unfortunately, these ones are sold out. But keep your eyes open over their Instagram account, also my Instagram account, uh, to see if there might be anything coming in the future. All right, now that's a little bit better. Okay, that's a wrap. The books are fully painted, fully drawn on. Uh, I'm super happy with how this turned out. I'm actually, uh, this, this was so much fun. And I'm especially happy with how I could make each painting a different style and the different style kind of suits the original cover of the book, if you know what I mean. I don't know, it might just be my impression, but I think it really worked out well. Now all that's left to do is get these paintings one last coat of finish. Um, to seal off the paint and protect the artworks and then do some nice shots of how these look finished But before we get to that, uh, let me quickly ask you to just leave a like subscribe comment uh, Do all the typical stuff it really helps out. I'm really sorry I don't get around to posting that much But if you do end up doing these things then it just really helps out a lot and it makes me really happy So so now that you've done that, let's get into the final shots Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.